Hey you gorgeous, welcome back to Be More Wolf, the blog number four. Thank you very much for taking the time out and joining me. I really appreciate you. If you are an ambitious woman who is looking to be more connected, have a clearer focus and direction, feel more fulfilled and make a bigger impact in the world, then this channel is absolutely for you. If you've enjoyed the content, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for forthcoming videos every week. A couple of things I want to talk to you about this week. First one is the four cornerstones that will lead you to living a more fulfilling life, be able to make more impact in the world, regardless of where you are starting from. The other thing I want to talk to you is about how self-sabotage can be so sneaky, how it can wind its way back in and really stop you from achieving the success it is that you want to achieve in business or life or in your profession. Let's get started. The weekend is always a weekend where I reflect and I think about my book, Be More Wolf, and the content it is that I am going to create to share with you. Now, I was looking at the cornerstones that underpin the foundation of the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox. It is a tool that I have created to help women thrive in all circumstances and to help them predominantly get out of their own way. If you haven't heard about it before, I've left a link below. Do go and check that out. So, I was writing away yesterday and I was thinking about the four cornerstones for the toolbox. And I was thinking, what order do they actually need to go in? So there are four cornerstones that underpin the conscious coaching toolbox, which are embedded throughout the whole of the program. So obviously, I want to share that with you to help you create a more fulfilling life, to help you stop self-sabotaging yourself, second-guessing yourself. And these four cornerstones have shown me that how out of alignment my life has really been, how I've had things the wrong way around, how I've been more driven by external circumstances than I have looking at what's going on in my internal world. I have some notes, so I've got my specs. So excuse me, looking down, I want to make sure I give you the right information so it makes sense and we are on track. So thinking about the four cornerstones, so they are connection, direction, fulfillment and impact. Now, what's really interesting is when I brought these together, I had them not in that order that's the order I recommend they go in, connection, direction, fulfillment, impact. But the framework I'd been working from was that I'd put direction before connection and I'd put impact before fulfillment. So let's go through these a little bit deeper one at a time so they make a bit so I can put them in context for you and they make a bit more more sense. So if we think of connection as being connected to ourself, really understanding deeply what we're about and our connection to the community, you know, our significant others, our friends. So connection is really about the internal game. It is about you being solely connected to yourself and the environment around you. If we think of direction in this context... Direction is the direction it is that you are heading in. It is also about your inner game. I'll go into a bit more detail in a second about, you know, how I had them the other way around and the impact that has had on me. Fulfillment is about your level of emotional and um, 
physical happiness you know how content are you how happy are you how fulfilled do you feel and again this is fulfillment is an inner game i had i had impact before fulfillment now i have fulfillment before impact now i'm consciously aware of what i've been up to in my head (laughs) and then impact we have I've got as how we want to make an impact in the world with, you know, with our family, significant others, with our friends, with the wider community. So impact is about external. It's the outer game of life rather than it being the inner game of life. So how do we want to touch other people's lives? How do we want to make a difference? You know, what, how do we want to impact on the wider community so it's very much an outer game so the first three cornerstones are all about mastering the inner game of your internal world which then when we want to make an impact is about the outer game so we've got about not boundary we've got a foundation to work from a really strong foundation so i had direction and connection the other way round which meant that my the direction I was heading in was heavily influenced by um by my peers by my family by my belief system by the programming so I had it the other way round I had direction before being fully awake and aware of how it was that I was connected in terms of understanding myself and how I was connected with family and friends and looking at things internally internally about who I was, who I am, you know, how I really like to emotionally connect with people. Because what that then does is it helps you shape the direction it is that you want to head in. Otherwise, you're going in a direction without being, I think, consciously awake of your likes, your dislikes, your personality, what's likely to sabotage your success, the connections and the relationships it is that you really want to have. So I had those two the other way around. Now I have them the other way around. It's a, an, it is a much better alignment in terms of the direction it is that you want to head in. It's a much better energetic alignment okay what else have i got here if i'm not aware of the level of connection to self and others then i could be heading in the wrong direction when i dig deeper take go underneath the skin of it take a closer look at it i realize that Understanding my level of connection I need with myself and others and the world needs to come first. Otherwise, the direction I have described, designed, described, hmm, obviously dyslexic head playing up, not sure, (laughs) is heavily influenced by external circumstances rather than me making conscious decisions in terms of the direction it is that I want to head in. Yes, I think I've covered that. Next, this is also an interesting one as well. Well, it's all interesting because it's about it's about our internal and external worlds. I had impact before fulfillment. And I think this has happened. Well, it has definitely happened because I've always lived in a place of um, survival. Very much not understanding how it is that I could fill my world with abundance, how I could feel fulfilled without um, putting other people first. Fulfillment is about how happy you are, how content you are, how much joy there is in your life. But I was coming at it from the position of how am I going to make an impact? How am I going to get people to notice me? How am I... I was I would basically put my fulfillment in other people's hands and not my own hands and that was because of you know I've got a very traumatic background 
Um, I, and that pushed me into survival mode, always thinking that I needed to survive. So impact would come before fulfillment. But actually, it needs to work the other way around. Because if, you're, if you can't fulfill yourself, you can't rely on external things happening to help you to feel fulfilled. It just, yes, of course, there's going to be things that will that you'll do that will make you feel fulfilled. But I think the fulfillment needs to come again. It's an internal game. It's what's happening to us internally that we take responsibility for rather than projecting it outwards. So fulfill, fulfillment means that I'm putting my happiness in the hands of extra factors if I have it last basically, the impact I'm pushed and desired to make, if I put that before fulfillment, I'm basically putting it in someone's hands. If I make the impact, I won't, I won't, making an impact doesn't guarantee fulfillment. But it does if you make a conscious decision to you know, they say, is your cup half empty or half full? Mine always used to believe below the half mark. Now it flows over with abundance. And part of that is because I've been able to master to get my head around that fulfillment is in my control, not in other people's control. So I get it now. I get that it comes the other way around <laughs> because <laughs> it needs to come before impact connection that deep connection to yourself and your community and the people in your world and then the direction you decide to take comes after that not the other way around again because then you're too heavily influenced by external circumstances and everything that's going on around you so it impacts you more from an out again than an in again so connection how you connected to self direction what direction is it you really want to be heading in and then fulfillment and in a game as well it's about how can you make sure that your cup is always overflowing with abundance and isn't below the halfway mark, which I spent most of all of my life up until recently. And then impact is how you want to make an impact with your family, with your community, in the wider context. So these are the four cornerstones that underpin the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox. So that has been created to help women consciously understand what has been sabotaging their success, what has been getting in their way. Hey, Fang. Oh, I just saw some legs. Oh, there you are. Yeah, what has been getting in their way? way and to really understand why that has been playing out and to put a stop to it to put an end to it so they can create a life that is a is abundant and a life that they really feel fulfilled by so it's about empowering women to thrive regardless of circumstances what i'll do is i will um, put a link below this video so you can go and check it out take a look at it but Okay, when I say to you, which one comes first? Connection, connection, direction, fulfillment, or impact? When you think about it yourself, where, what comes first for you? It's an interesting question because I had to really mull this over and think about it in terms of, okay, which one goes before which one goes before the other? Which one? So as I said, I had um, direction before connection. Now, if I'm not connected to self, I guarantee you I'm going to end up in the wrong direction, unhappy, unfulfilled, and not able to make the impact it is that I desire in my business, in my life, with my significant others. 
So have a think about it. Dip under the skin of it. Let me know in the comments box which one resonates with you or which one, when you think about it, you're like, oh, I don't, I don't get that one. I don't, how do, how, how do I make myself feel more fulfilled? How can I possibly make an impact? It may be that you've never thought about it in this context before. So I wanted to share that with you because it will be going into the book. I am creating a worksheet if you want to get hold of the worksheet. I am giving that out as a gift to the people who are subscribed to get the Be More Wolf book um, for free as a digital download, as a digital copy. That won't be coming out until December of 2021, though. So if you want to get a free copy, just pop your just click the link below and then pop your details in and you'll also get a copy of the worksheet as well. And the worksheet is designed so under each category in the order I believe that they should be in for you to create the most fulfilling life that you can with the biggest impact is what I've done is to raise your level of consciousness to become more fully connected to self and awake so you can see what all the influences are that are playing out in your world is that in each section, in each heading, I have created a list of questions that will now, which will enable you to mull over what's going on. <laughs> of course, you can add your own, but I really um, recommend that you follow the questions that I've asked because it will bring you more consciously awake to think about, do I still want this? Is, is this still important to me? Do I still still want this? So I'd be really interested to get your feedback. Remember, if you like this content, like this video, please do hit the like button and also share with other women in your network. That really helps me out, of course. And remember, absolutely, subscribe. I release new videos every week. That are in line with the book Be More Wolf. Before you go, I also wanted to talk about, as I said, what can get in the way of sabotaging your success. This is a biggie. You know, when you are creating a new direction to walk, to, to head off in the new path it is that you want to create you're fed up of the one that you've created you're not feeling fulfilled you're not making the impact it is that you want to make and you're just like eh, okay I need to do something different I need to up love the business up level my life stop whatever it is that is playing out so we make a conscious decision to do that to do things differently to play a bigger game to you know create a new way of doing things, create a new reality for ourselves. So the book, Be More Wolf, I am writing at the moment. And I realized that I was actually sabotaging my own success and myself. When <laughs> I'm the one that's talking about stop sabotaging yourself. <laughs> I suddenly got hit in the face by a wet fish because I was like, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. This is how sneaky self-sabotaging yourself can be really really sneaky it's sneaky it's so sneaky you don't even know it's happening until you reflect back and you go whoa hang on a minute that's not what I want <laughs> and then you're like uh, <laughs> falling off the wagon but this is how sneaky our inner worlds can be how sophisticated it is at keeping you stuck how sophisticated it is at trying to the ego trying to keep you safe okay so <laughs> sneaky subconscious sneaky, sneaky self-sabotaging behavior let me share with you what happened for me something slipped under the radar for me so last week I did a new video of course, video number three, I'm doing these videos every week to share about what's actually going into the book, like I did a second ago around the four cornerstones to the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox. 
that people are using to get out of their own way. So I'm doing these videos to support that journey. And then, so I created a video last week and, you know, we did the editing, we uploaded it, we did all the behind the scenes stuff that needed to be done. And then when I went and at the end of the week to reflect on what it is I have been up to over the week. And I do that purposely to get out of my own way. It's part of an exercise within the toolbox that we do every week to help us figure out what is going on, what's stopping our success, what's stopping us from growing. So I was doing that exercise at the end of the week and I was just like, hang on a minute why was I why on earth did I create that video because it has no context and no relevance for the book it has absolutely nada nothing to do with the women it is that I want to help who are going to buy the book and embrace the book and put it into practice <laughs> so <laughs> Have you ever had that happen to you? Does that feel really familiar when, oh, I hope that's not our apartment, there's a crashing noise. Have you ever decided that you want to do something, that you want to stop doing something and you want to do something else because that's going to take you in the direction it is that you want to be heading in? But then you sort of slip back into what it is that you don't actually want I think we just have a habit as humans in hiding in the comfort of what is familiar. So let me explain what it is that I did, what it is that I noticed, which has nothing to do with the direction it is that I want to that I want to head in. So it slipped under the radar. Honestly, I had no idea what I was doing, how I was doing it. It wasn't until I looked back at my um, conscious coaching reflective practice that I do at the end of the week. And I was like, oh, crap, how did that slip past me? Here's the truth. It is so easy to slip into what is comfortable, what is familiar, where we um where we feel safe, um, what is easy. We all do it without even noticing. So we slip back into this place that is extremely uncomfortable without even noticing that we are doing it. It's done on such an unconscious level. Over the last couple of weeks, I have shared with you that one of my barriers to success has been about being come, becoming more visible because becoming more visible to me means trauma means survival I associate it with some really negative heavy stuff that has played out previously in my life so I have I have discovered that I had a fear of success because if I was being successful I would be seen if I was being seen that would lead to trauma which I absolutely would avoid now that I understand that, I can work with it. I can um, navigate around it as I understand it. However, <laughs> it's so sophisticated that what's happened is, is I've gone back. I've recoiled back into a place of safety a place of feeling comfortable it's safe it's easy it doesn't feel like a threat even though it's not what I want to do so because I used to hide behind people I had a fear of really being seen so I would do things like lots of interviews of, of experts hold big, big big summits which actually is a team's job I would do lots of things that would keep me in the background and not being really visible, telling my story. I was empowering everybody else to share their story apart from myself. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> so, so I would stay safe. So sabotaging your success is a master in disguise. Oh, yes. Let's talk about this, especially when you're working hard to change your behavior so last week 
I did a video and the video, as I said, is designed to share my experience of writing the book with you. So the content should be focused in on the tools, um, the experiences, the insight I'm getting along that journey. How am I bringing it together? What is going into it? But then I look back at these videos that I had created last week, and they were absolutely nothing to do with the book. One was about how to structure your book to get the best results. Another one was about how, why you need a lead magnet for your business. Now, even though I know a lot about these things, well, actually not so much about the first one, but I know a lot about creating lead magnets. I can do it with my eyes closed. I've helped so many entrepreneurs to create them. However, that is not what I want to be known for. That is not the content it is that I need to be sharing with my clients, with the people it is that I want to make the biggest impact on. But yeah, that is what I created. And it just showed me that's how sneaky the ego will be when it wants to keep you safe. It can completely take you off track. And all that's happening there is that you're going back into a place of comfort. You're going back into a place that is familiar, even though it may not be where it is that you feel that you are going to get the most growth. So this is obviously what I would call a tripwire. It is completely normal. The trick is to recognize that don't beat yourself up be compassionate and then get back on the horse and head in the direction it is that you want to be heading in on my laptop now I have a note that says very clearly what it is that I want to be known for so all of my content is going to be shaped around those four topics rather than doing random things that just really serve no purpose but <laughs> army is sophisticatedly hiding and not achieving the success I desire. Of course, the things that I want to be known for are conscious coaching. So that is a process that I take my clients through to help them understand and see things that they haven't necessarily seen before. Self-coaching is the next thing on the agenda. And that is really about how do you nav then navigate once you're awake or you're seeing things that you haven't seen before, how do you then navigate those challenging situations? Next is about building your resilience muscle. So you've identified, you've seen what's playing out, and then your self-coaching to navigate. Once you've started to navigate challenging situations or how you want to change things, then it's time to start building your resilience muscle and taking inspired action. So those are the things that I want to be known for. I don't want to be known for how to create a lead magnet, how to get the most out of your business book. That is me sophisticatedly hiding behind content that is going to get me absolutely nowhere. It's not going to leave me fulfilled. It's not going to leave me making even a bigger impact on the world. It is just me going back to a place that feels comfortable that my brain feels comfortable in it's familiar but that's not where I want to be so I just wanted to share that with you because that is something I'm definitely going to put in the book it's how sneaky and how sophisticated self-sabotage can be without you even realizing it and that fulfillment and impact are part of being awake being conscious being fully aware of what's driving you what's motivating you to be able to get out of your own way and play a much bigger game so let me know <laughs> has that happened to you have you thought right I want to do this but then you find yourself just constantly stuck in this loop of doing the same thing day in and day out getting the same results not going anywhere fast <laughs> You're just stuck and the 
you recognize that that was because you were just trying to keep yourself set safe it was familiar let me know in the comments box oops sorry and remember if you've enjoyed this content if you've enjoyed our time today if you've got any questions right got any questions pop them below that'd be awesome if you've really enjoyed this content thumbs up if you haven't enjoyed it thumbs down tell me why that is what is it that you want me to focus in on what will help you and remember love the content remember to subscribe that would really help me out to grow the channel and to reach more awesome women like yourself okay until next week also the next <laughs> videos are going to be focused in on what it is that i want to be known for what it is in terms of the direction i want to take my business and my life in rather than sabotaging my success and getting in my own way which is what i did beautifully last week wasted a lot of time money energy just complete groundhog day so whatever you're doing today gorgeous i really appreciate that you have joined me and i will see you next